it's me, Brianna J, and you're tuned in for a new episode of Book Talk or Lift of Books. I don't know how long you've been here branding, you know what I'm saying? And it's so funny I say that because we are going to be talking about branding in this episode. Um, So, it's kind of a crossover. If anybody's big into business, making content, things like that, stick around to your video. Um, So, the book is The Marathon. Don't Stop. The Life and Times of Nipsey Hussle by Robert Kenner. And in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the lessons I learned while reading it. In fact, it is, bum, bum, let me check, eight principles of success according to the late Nipsey Hussle that all entrepreneurs can use. But before I tell you the eight secrets, before I tell you the eight secrets, I got to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe on this video so I can continue telling y'all secrets from these books. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> also, if you didn't know, I am a writer. I have two children's books out. Boom, boom. If you are interested, check out my website to purchase a copy for yourself. I also create websites. <laughs> I really hope I edit my videos properly and don't be lazy because these depend on it. These hand movements depend on me editing this video right. But I make websites. Um, so if you have a small business, you want to get your digital presence out, you want to, you know, promote yourself online, let's talk, connect with me at my website in the description box. And I also have a written blog where I just talk about my life, my travels, my problems, and I try to make you laugh as much as possible. I also share any discount codes I can find because with the inflation, we all need to save a little bit. So if you're into getting to know me a little more personally, check out BriancaJWrites.com. And in the description box, along with all this other stuff, you will find my social media where I have a very active presence. So... There is a lot going on down there in that description box to get into it. And I'm going to finally get into this video. <clears throat> so, if you're a fan of Nipsey Hussle, you know this man is exactly what his name stands for. He's a true hustler. And so, basically, I'm saying here, Nipsey Hussle clearly understood an aspect of the music business. Many aspiring artists, along with other types of industries... As far as leaders, content marketers, uh, writers, anybody trying to create a brand for themselves can kind of learn from. From gangs to Grammys, his name, Hustle, is more than fitting. So, when the book came out, I was more than curious to learn how he migrated from Neighborhood Nip, the rolling, si rolling 60s gang member, to a Grammy Award winning artist. What I found was eight core principles that can be applied to an entrepreneur of any industry so the first one is cast a strong brand image to the world maybe you can't go on tour but and i'm sorry i don't mean to read at you so cast a strong cast a strong brand image to the world basically know who you are stand on what you stand on and push that that particular aspect and persona of yourself all the way to the end create a strong image um, they say Nipsey started going on tours with like his very first mixtape. His whole idea was like, if I can get this in as many hands as possible, as many ears as possible, like, I don't care what it takes, people need to hear me. And he just had so much belief in himself that he literally started going on tour before he had a fan base. But he was trying to cultivate an audience for himself and he took this route. Of course, with the internet and things like that, there are so many routes you can take. I would tell anybody to cast a very wide digital footprint, meaning get you a TikTok, an Instagram, a YouTube, get you an artist website, hit me up, hit me up, and, you know, really push your particular brand across the internet as much as possible, right? And then also couple that with your feet, your footwork, and get out there as much as possible. And I think that you can really cast a strong like image and he's not the only person that I think as an artist who's done that so I would say that that is totally an aspect of growth that you need is to be out being heard as often as possible by as many people as possible 
Um, the next one is solidify your voice and invest in your community. So we knew what Nipsey Hustle stand for pretty well. We knew uh, who he, when they called him Neighborhood Nip, right? So he's known to kind of really rep where he was from to be very involved in his community. You see him out in his community on the streets and a wife beater in a number of videos. Like this guy really didn't mind being like, I'm from Slauson, I rep Slauson. You know, and I think that's a part of what he stood for as part of his brand. Like, I'm loyal, I don't change, and I'm authentic. Uh, I'm true to where I'm from and who I am. That was his, that was his voice, you know. That was his voice. That's who he was. And he repped that all the way through. And I think it's important as an, as an artist before you start establishing your brand, before people start really getting to know you, is to know who you are and what you stand for and how you can highlight that particular part of your persona and really you know bring it to life so to do that I think what he did was he encapsulated what it was like to live in LA and then he even identified the pain points of being like a black man like I'm trying to hustle I'm trying to get it they they the cops fucking with me I'm out here selling t-shirts they bother me you know I'm out here trying to make a little money but everything is coming my way like he speaks to a certain community of individuals that can completely co relate to that idea of I'm trying to move up in life, but it seems like everything is holding me back. He really um, identified with those people and he made them have a voice. So think about not only what story you're telling, but in telling your story, who all, who all identifies and what are their pain points? And you know, what do they need to hear? Like, do I need to, you do you need to give them hope? Do you need to, to get, be relatable? Like, think about what they need to hear, what they would want the world to know about them. Um, the next thing on my list is seven days a week, the marathon. Nipsey worked hard, okay? So, Nipsey was working. He really didn't stop working. He spent so much time in the studio. According to this book, he spent, like, a ton of time in the studio. When he wasn't in the studio, he was literally out there hustling where there was photoshop like little burn video like burn software for photoshop or final cut or uh weed or t-shirt or whatever like this man was trying to sell whatever he could sell to put money and invest in his business and then when he wasn't doing that he was trying to be heard he literally was dropping off like his demo tapes things like that they said he would he would like cut out he sent like a little bit tape to you know vibe magazine and everything like that like this man didn't care like he didn't he didn't stop his own dream you know he didn't take no breaks he really went hard for what he wanted now am i telling you like literally work every day of the week no that's fucking crazy like please don't be that person god rest you can rest but i'm also telling you like be consistent and don't get lost on your journey like go strong for what you believe in like if you want it and you push it consistently it's gonna pop and, you know, we see that if that man can go from, you know, hood, gang banking, in and out of jail to a Grammy winning artist, you know, beautiful relationship, beautiful children with Lauren London. Maybe you can too. Like, what's what makes him better than you? Okay, so the next one on my list is maintain your core values. But Nipsey hustle independence and entrepreneurship remain at the core of his mission and his brand that message resonated through his music interviews and merch lines this became a vital part of his brand identity so i kind of spoke to that before like he put his core values before at the top of what he did so he was like look i ain't no sellout i'm gonna be independent till the end and so when it came down to labels he didn't rush and go get no label like he stood on what he said like I want to be independent no middleman I I rap about it I preach it I live it too like we knew his values and we knew beyond what he said he he meant and that was a part of his brand that got a lot of respect from me and a lot of uh, many other fans and I think it's a really important strategy in entrepreneurship in itself is to know your core values because you're gonna get so many opportunities right people go like can you do this can you do that and you can't do everything you know so you have to really decide, like, is this worth my time? Is that worth my time? And when it's not worth your time, simply scrap it and be done with it. Because ultimately, you can't spend too much time trying to make 
you know, everybody happy. So by knowing your core values and knowing your integrity, you know what fits your brand and what doesn't fit your brand. And that's just necessary in the creation of who you're going to be and what you're going to stand for. The next part is be driven by financial and creative motives. So he says, all money in, no money out was was a tagline established by the late rapper which spoke to his financial obligation towards his brand. Meaning he was willing to invest himself no matter what. All his money would go into his personal success and ensuring that he reached his dreams. Furthermore, it spoke to his creative mission to create on his own terms and to keep his integrity. In order to do so, he was willing to invest his own money rather than to sell or compromise his personal integrity. Nipsey is quoted to say, I will never say something I don't agree with or believe in, even if the reward was massive. The artist was known to celebrate create creative integrity overall. So, there you go. Uh, the next one is the secret to success is an aggressive, full throttle approach. One of the things that inspired me most about Nipsey Hussle is, a, is his ability to believe in himself. Within the book, The Marathon Don't Stop, The Life and Times of Nipsey Hussle by Robert Kenner, we learned that Nipsey was known to illegally dub and sell software like Photoshop, Final Cut, and other highly requested computer software in order to continue to push his dream forward. He had no ideas with working street corner. He had no issues with working street corners, selling t-shirts, selling weed, or doing whatever was necessary to reach his end goals. The artist was aggressive with his approach to his vision, which ultimately led to his Grammy-nominated success. Uh, then he has another one here. It says, if I can't get money with you, it's fuck you. This is one of the principles of success that Nipsey believed in that is attributed to, to his overall, you know, level of fame that he acquired. He basically thought that money was collaborative. He also believed that who he sat with and worked with should be beneficial to his overall success and vice versa. So in business, he didn't spend time forcing believers. The offer was on the table. If you accepted what that, it was great. If not, well, fuck you. In business, you will take a nose, but you cannot dwell on the nose. You have to just kind of move on. He knew not to take too much time forcing relationships and opportunities on people that essentially didn't want them. And I'll tell you the same thing. You know, you're going to get so many no's in life, but you can't stick with the no too long. Like, oh, you offered it. They said no. Okay, go to somebody else and somebody else and somebody else until the right person says yes keep going don't let one person determine your success the last one here is um don't let nobody stop your success right nifty says no one can stop what i am doing with me and god so he spoke about a strong relationship with god and his belief but he also didn't compromise his morals and, his, and we respect him because he had a firm foundation on what he believed in. In business and in life, ensure that you believe in something or you'll fall for anything. So whatever it is you're trying to do, like be, let some, take your belief with you, take your faith with you, and don't compromise yourself. Like understand that no one person gives you the opportunity, but God brings you the opportunity. And when it's right for you, it's going to be right for you. But that's it. That's the eight core principles that contributed to Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle's success. Which one of these resonated with you the most? And if you enjoyed this post, my name is Brianna J. And if you haven't already guessed it, I love books. I love reviewing and discussing books and just talking about them in general. And you can find me on other social media platforms, including my business strategies and marketing tips, my literary analysis website, my uh, personal children's books that I've written and the merchandise I sell along with my numerous social media accounts. All of that is in the description box below. So check it out and go ahead and subscribe to get more videos like this. So be real and until next time, it's your girl.